Okay, so back to our video, or back to our tutorial. Now let's actually go to Modeling tab, and we will start creating the connector. For the moment we can hide our, uh, our flat cable, and let's add a new object. Let's go to Object Mode, Add Mesh Cube. Okay, we'll name it as the connector. And let's uh, let's actually modify it a little bit. We'll go to the edit mode, select the polygons or faces. Uh, let's uh, let's move it so our cube is actually one two meters, and I wanted something like uh, seven. So let's move it with five meters. We'll uh, we'll work uh, for the moment in the meters uh, in the meters range or the meters scale, and we will actually change it uh, later in the geometry nodes. We will scale it scale it to to its proper dimensions. Okay, so let's add a few more a few more loops. Okay, we will add one loop here, one loop here, and. Let's add, let's actually offset another edge loop from here. Okay, let's do like this. Okay. Deselect everything. And actually, actually I don't want uh, I don't want this loop. So let's select it by double clicking and hit the right uh, mouse button and dissolve the edges. Okay, go back to the go back to the face uh, select mode, or uh, which you can uh, which you can uh, select by pressing three on the keyboard. Uh, I am actually not uh, not a Blender user originally. I've been working in Modo before before Blender, and I switched to Blender recently. I don't know if it's the default uh, default shortcuts uh, if they are the same. That's why I hesitate to tell you what shortcuts to use uh, because I changed the settings of uh, Blender to use to use industry standard uh, shortcuts and uh, I don't want to confuse you so I will I will not refer much to the to the shortcuts okay so get back to work let's select this face and this face uh, let's uh, insert them a little bit okay like this now uh, I have enabled uh, I have enabled the loop tools add-on, which is the default uh, default Blender add-on, but uh, it has to be enabled. So if you go to preferences, add-ons, search loop loop tools, okay, and make sure it's enabled. Okay, so let's bridge it. Okay, we have that's that's okay. Okay. Now actually, I I have screwed up because I don't know how much did I offset these uh, these two loops. So let's uh, let's go back to edge mode. Let's select this loop by double clicking it and shift and double click the other one. Let's right click and dissolve the edges and let's actually add another loop inside. So let's select the loop cut. Place this loop cut here. Okay. Now select this loop by double clicking. Now we will create an offset edge loop cut, and let's put it like here in the context menu. Let's put 0 0.25 and deselect everything. Select the internal loop cut, and let's do the same. Okay, 0 0.25. Okay, we're okay. Deselect everything. And now let's another loop cut here. Okay, let's select the loop cut. Place one here and do another offset loop cut like this. Okay, deselect everything. Now select change to face mode. Select one, two, three, four faces. The same on the inside. Okay, we'll delete them. Actually, we can bridge them directly. Okay. Uh, this is the the outer shell. We will uh, apply a 
subdivision surface modifier and we actually have to add some uh, some loop cuts to to make sharper edges so let's select the loop cut and let's start adding the, the loop cuts okay let's go to the factor of minus 0 0.95 the same we'll do here factor 0 0.95 okay let's add another one uh, factor 0 0.95 add another one factors minus 0 0.95 nope 0 0.95 actually change the direction okay let's do the same on the other side oh that it's the other direction okay here 0 0.95 0 0.95 okay so this is okay let's add one here 0 0.95 minus 0 0.95 0 0.95 okay okay here we have to add also a loop cut 0 0.9 0 0.9 select it before this 0 minus 0 0.9 actually 0 0.9 okay so let's get some uh, edge loops on the inside 0 0.98 let's keep it at value so here minus 0 0.98 okay also on the base okay, let's approximately like this just to be faster okay okay so and also here we need to add more loops so let's put it here there and that's actually also here and here okay i want to speed up things so i stopped uh, doing it exactly and just i'm just eyeballing it okay so here we are it's the outer shell of the connector and now also let's add uh, the metallic insert which actually plugs onto the onto the pins Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll go to object mode, add another cube, and we will actually, we'll actually scale it a little bit. We can do it in the object mode. Let's scale it something like this. Okay, and now let's go to, let's uh, rename it to connector inside. Okay let's go to edit mode let's select let's go to faces mode select this face uh, and let's move it that's by actually five meters like last time okay let's deselect everything and we will uh we'll add some uh, we will uh, add uh, some loop cuts first one will be here in the middle and then we will split it okay i think oh is the let's hide actually the actor okay yeah that's that's good and we'll do the same uh, as we did with the connector we will um we will actually inset the the front faces and bridge them okay that's good now unhide the connector and let's select these two faces and let's extrude them a little bit outside okay here we are i think that's good enough like this uh scale it a little bit on the this direction good let's deselect everything uh, we will hide the connector again 
and let's add the subdivision surface modifier okay and like we did last time let's get back to the adding some uh, loop cuts so here and let's add the loop cut here let's add the loop cut there let's add also loop cut here other end here there here 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 okay let's add the loop cut here as well also on the other end here there okay also here now on the front also i think on the inside we are missing it so let's put it here and on the opposite direction okay actually now now when i see the model i think we could have actually actually mirrored the the entire thing but now we are already finished so it doesn't matter okay so let's get back to the object mode and see how it looks like with the connector active okay that's pretty decent and now let's assign uh, some uh, some materials to it okay so let's go to material we will add a new one let's call it black plastic change the color to something dark and let's uh ah, we actually okay we have selected the inside it uh, it doesn't matter let's select the connector and choose the black plastic material let's see the preview of it okay and let's actually change the the connector inside to let's uh let's remove it let's add new material and which we'll call metal yeah it's very inventive metal Okay, we'll go full metallic, zero on the specular, and also we will go a little bit down with the roughness. Okay, so second, let's go to the render. Okay, here we are. We have our metallic insert in the connector. Okay, one more thing we need to do is actually to make uh, make the connector and the inside of the connector uh, one uh, object so we will select both of them select object and join now let's actually uh, switch to the solid shading view and uh, what we need to do is to transform actually the connector so the so the center action center is in the middle we can do it in uh, two different ways either move the move the origin or the action center into the middle or we can actually move the entire geometry by going to the edit mode uh, we will select all it pretty much doesn't matter if you are in the vertex uh, edge or uh, faces mode and let's uh, let's hit the w as the move tool and let's move it like this and it's minus 2.5 meters and now we have the now we have the connector perfectly centered so this is it with the modeling of the connector and uh, now we'll place the the connector on the ends of the flat cables so stay tuned 